What it is, what it do, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, he's a little pissed off because he spilled milk down there, for sure. Never mind the crying baby, he's okay. He's just, he's just fussy for some crazy. Uh, having issues with the car. Uh, the other day I had to get the thermostat replaced on the car because it was getting stuck closed and was causing the heat not to work in the car. Uh, when I got that fixed, come to find out that whomever had the car before I did put a remanufactured or a junkyard part on the car. I guess the cheaper alternative, not a bad deal, but it looked like that thermostat had gone bad. So I had to get another thermostat, get it put on the car, but we're still having overheating issues. So literally I had to get the car towed to the shop to have them take a look and see what was going on. It could be a multitude of things. Uh, I was looking at the forum, a lot of guys are having issues with the air to water intercooler. Typically road debris will cause a leak. It could still be that the thermostat is getting stuck open it could be the water pump now these cars have two water pumps have one mechanical and one electronic if you have a mechanical issue with the water pump it's not going to throw a code but if you have an issue with the electric water pump then typically you'll get a code letting you know that that has failed i have not gotten any codes as of yet but we need we need to see what's going on well let's go we gotta go to the shop all right, I'll show you where literally all of the coolant is. Get him in the car, Black Mike, you know? Oh, I gotta go on the other side. Yep. Oh, baby and vlogging. This is kind of like my early days of YouTube. But yeah, that is literally all the coolant on the ground. Not a good deal. A few inches later. All right, we just made it to the shop. So the wife and Black Mike dropped me off. And I'm gonna leave us back to sleep. So here's what's going on so far. We are going to kind of systematically diagnose what we think could be going on, why essentially like it's, it's getting backed up. And what's, when it's backing up, it's causing literally all of the, the coolant to back up into the reservoir, which is spitting all, all across the engine block. So there was one thing that Christian did say he saw. I don't know if you can see right here, that's a coolant line, that's an oil line, and that's a coolant line. So I am getting a little bit of schmutz right there, whatever you want to call it, but it's, literally leaking down onto the turbo and you can kind of see a pool i don't have a light right now but there was it looked like there was a pool of actual coolant uh, in the center of the block we're going to start there to see if that's the issue why we're getting air into the line which is backing up all the coolant so this is this no hey what are you doing trying to get it in the camera Ow, yeah. <laughs> no, it didn't work. You wanna try again? You're talking all serious, and then you just see a water bottle. All right. <laughs> so yeah, so you think that could be, that could be a start of just trying to diagnose why we're getting the coolant backed up. I think it's a start. Yeah. We're fixing a problem that is an active issue right. instead of trying to fix a problem that we don't know if it's an issue or not. Right. So as I say, certain things, certain things guys have experienced on these cars would be the air to water coolant getting that, but you know, it'll be a little bit more serious than what I'm experiencing right now. The tech bulletin, check that out. Make sure that your thermostat is up to snuff because it's going to be, a, I forget the part number. I'm sorry. I don't remember what the part number is, but it's, updated part number. it's an updated part number so yeah so it stores in the climatronic module not the engine module so there you have it so if you're having these issues just start there start with thermostat first uh, if you're still getting overheating then you know you want to systematically go through make sure it's not the electronic uh, water pump or the mechanical water pump which sits behind the thermostat Let's see if we can't get this diagnosed all right, give you an update on the SQ5 with the 4.0T. Someone said that I didn't show it. I, I apologize for that. I, I do want to keep you guys up to breast as to what's going on right now. It is still pretty much static. We're waiting on a air to air from VPS. So once that gets in, he's going to finish putting everything together. But here it is. This is the SQ5. As I said last time, we have the turbo inlets that came off of S7 U Horny as well as those turbos. You Horny! You Horny! And then we have down pipes on here. So down pipes, one thing, I don't know if you guys know, uh, one thing that is definitely going to go out on the car is the motor mounts. It's probably best that you replace those motor mounts. Silly Rabbit has the replacement motor mounts at like 400 bucks. If you replace both of them, it's kind of a harsher ride. You get all the vibrations of the motor. A lot of guys are leaving the driver's side stock and then they're doing the passenger side with the upgraded motor mounts. You'll still get that responsiveness from the motor, from the solid motor mount, but you'll still get the comfortability of the stock on the driver's side. So yeah, 
And that's on God. That's on, <laughs> on God. But yeah, Motor Mount stand. So that's the Silly Rabbit Motorsports Motor Mount right there. I don't know if you can see that. But it's in there. I wish I had a flashlight, but I don't. The motor's sitting on its own, like I said last time. It hasn't cranked yet, but like I said, you want to get everything on the car. But, you know, we're still kind of waiting around for these parts to be made because it is bespoke to this car. So I can't wait to hear it fire up. It'll be the first, first RSQ8. Might as well just call it an RSQ8. That's what it is. Or RSQ5, I'm sorry. It'll be the first RSQ5 in the States. So I can't wait to hear that fire. All right, so look like it turns out to be, and we shall see. It turned out to be the O-rings that that I was talking about earlier. Uh, looked like there was some actual air getting into those lines, basically causing a backup. So, so far so good. No, no spiking of temps. The heat is blowing pretty hot. I, I mean, I have it on 84 right now, just in case, you know, I gotta jump out real quick and douse this thing in some coolant. We, we shall see, we shall see. Fingers crossed that that was the issue and there's no more issues because I still have to get the motor mounts and I still have to get the uh, high pressure fuel pump plungers replaced. So no more issues, please seven, no more issues before then because I can't, I can't take this. Also, I got another item coming in. Uh, I have some two inch turbo inlets coming in too. So just saying, I know it's been slow. I gotta pick it back up. So anyway, as always, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video, uh, I'm gonna put my eyes on the road so I don't crash or anything. So the last thing I need is to have a damaged car after I have a fixed car. So. Uh -huh.